right, welcome to the IA Quilters show. This is a monthly recap of what's been happening, plus a focus spotlight on what some of the members have been up to and a look at what is coming up. So I hope that everyone continues to stay safe and healthy um, during the holidays, especially, and as we kick off this new year. So I hope all is well with all of our members. During December, we had our bi-monthly uh, meetings on Tuesdays. It is a great opportunity to check in, help each other out, encourage, inspire, and really get to know each other. So I highly recommend you checking the calendar and joining us for those meetups. So with, um, before I start anything, I'm going to hurry and that's said there's a big long list, but anyways, I'm going to welcome all the new members, um, that have joined us during the previous months. So big welcome. We had a lot of new quilters join us. Super excited to get to know you, um, just a little bit better and see the projects you're working on. So I've got this list right here and I'm just going to quickly name them off with my itchy nose. Okay, I've got Paula, Glenda, Caprice, Gina, Julia, Melody, Karen, Renee, Shirley, Susan, Barbara, Julie, Karen, Iris, Holly, Irma, Louise, Don, Sandra, Marley, Sharon, Cynthia, Debbie, Christine, Lu uh, Leanne, Joyce, Leah, Pat, Christine, Deborah, Nancy, Robin, Luann. Oh, I've got two. No, I've got a Leanne and a Luann. Um, Teresa, Laura, Carol, Carolyn, Doreen, Charlotte, Marie, Samantha, and Britt. I am super excited that you guys are here. It has been a while since I have, um, announced or mentioned new members. So, um, that was a little bit of a catch up there, but I am, um, super happy that you're here and hope you join us at our monthly meetings. So we get to see your projects and, um, get to know you better. So this past month in December, there was also an open house where I showed off, showed off the quilts um, that I had made this year, as well as the new block of the month for this year called the Homestead, which we will be starting um, Tuesday the 5th. <clears throat> Sewing centered around the home is going to be our theme for this coming year. Very excited about it. So you can see the open house video in the link that I'm sharing below in um, the description for the video. <clears throat> December was really all about finishing up our block of the months for the year. Wrapping up our blocks, putting our tops together. I'm super excited to see your tops come to life and the different layouts or colors and fabrics that you've chosen um, to sew along. New activities are being slowly added to the calendar, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm slow to it, but it is coming. There's quite a bit so um, happening this next year, and I'm really excited about them, but they are being added to the calendar, as well as the classes page. So you will see new classes pop up. Um, doesn't mean that they're necessarily active. You'll find the dates that they are released on that page for the class. So say you see the um, Quilt Rulu Quarterly, and you click on it, it will tell you exactly what day that will be released for you. Um, though, those are also being added to the calendar, so you'll be able to plan ahead, <clears throat> as well as links to any kind of supplies or something that we need for that. So what's coming up this month? I've got something new to share. Super excited. I'm always super excited. Anyways, the IAQ news. This is super blurry. I'm sorry, but that's why I have my camera is. Um, so the IAQ news is going to, I'm hoping being really helpful alongside with the calendar. Each month you can print off this one page. So it's not a whole lot, you know, it's not a booklet here. We've got one page to help you keep on date and track of what's happening in the IAQ, as well as the dates on the calendar for our virtual meetups. So, um, I'll go over it really quickly. I won't go over it every month. Um, maybe I will because it has everything on there. I'm not sure. Anyways, so it's got a little quote at the top, just to be cute. It also has the month and the year, okay? So um, you can kind of keep track and make sure that you're on the right month using these. On the calendar section, that will show you what the projects are that we're working on this month. So this month we have the homestead, we have the technique focused, and the date is January 12th. 
We have the Orphan Project Challenge, which January 18th, as well as our Square Dance, which is our Quilting Bee, um, January 22nd. So you see all of these, kind of a visual and a date as well. In this gray box, we have our virtual meetups all lined out for you. So January 7th, we have our meet and greet. January 12th at one, we have our normal virtual meetup member meeting. January 26th is our 7 p.m. virtual member meeting, um, which is kind of our like show and tell. And then it also tells you about uh, February 2nd, which is a special 1 p.m. Uh, show off your pattern and your fabric for the square dance quilting bee. So that's our quilting bee meetup. And then February 5th is our all day sew day. So all of those for the month, plus kind of like looking ahead to make sure that you keep on track of the calendar are all in that gray box. At the bottom, we have our reminder for our birthday charity. So do you have a birthday this month? Um, share a picture of your charity project and the organization. Tell us all about it, of who you're giving it to. Um, in the gallery. Each picture will give you an entry for a giveaway. So we will start doing monthly giveaways in February for the January birthdays that were donated. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a little bit different how we did the charity from before, but shipping has been a little uh, lately. And so I wanted to move away from that and giving you extra costs. So you are, and you can check this all out, um, on the classes for the charity, it will tell you exactly what to do. <clears throat> but you're able to pick the charity, you're able to pick the project. So if this is Linus and you make a baby quilt or um, fidget quilts or pillowcases or mega quilts, twin quilts, lap quilts, cancer quilts, you name it. Uh, we are not going to be picky here. If um, you have a friend in need, then, you know, they're there as well as an opportunity to give. So um, just share it with us. We love to see what our members are doing and help support you. Plus, it might inspire us to help um, that same organization moving forward as well. So you never know where this is going to lead. But um, where we are at individually, we all have different needs. And this allows us to support what we want to uh, during the year. So when it is your birthday month, that is the month that you are going to focus one project uh, for charity. <clears throat> so my month is January and I need to get on the ball and uh, make something and figure out what organization I'm going to be participating in and of course share it with you guys. Also, we have at the bottom kind of what's coming up. This is the Quilt Ruler Quarterly, okay? This is telling you that on February 16th, we will have a class all about the Hex and More Ruler. So there is a link um, in this PDF that you can use. It'll take you right to that product if you are interested in picking it up and giving it a try. It's not required, it's just something extra that we added to the group this year that I'm really ex super excited about. It's the uh, Quilt Ruler Quarterly. So every quarter we have a new ruler that we get to explore. Um, and then there's a little fun project to go along with it. So that is all about the IAQ News and you will find a link to that below. So all of the links um, for the IAQ News will be under the IA Quilters show for that month. Just if you miss it, you can go back and you'll find it there. <clears throat> all right, so what else is coming up? January, we have our first OPC for the year. For those of you just joining us, that is the Orphan Project Challenge. I'm super excited. So that is starting January 18th. Of course, you are invited as IEQ members. This is free and included in your membership. This is going to be held in the Facebook group. So um, there is a thread in the forum, in the IEQ. You can participate in there as well, but a lot of the stuff will be happening and going through in the Facebook group, just so you know kind of where things are. You can access the pages though, the prep kit and the tracking sheets in the Orphan Project Challenge class anytime you'd like. So if you go to the main page for the classes and block the months and scroll down to the bottom, there's a section called extras and you will find the Orphan Project Challenge there. You will also see that the retreat is there for the wait lists as well as the um, upcoming um, 
quilting B or not quilt. Yes, quilt, um, scrap zero, which will be included. So just so, just so you know that the challenges that we have are included in the IQ memberships. For the retreats, there is a discounted rate. Um, so you can find more information there on each of the individual classes, but you'll see that they are listed, their dates are posted. Just wanna make sure that you're aware, you can put them on your calendar, but um, know what is included in your IQ membership. Okay, if you have any questions, drop it in the support or in the forum, happy to help. So of course, as always, um, what we started last year following our OPC, we will have a quilting bee. So the first quilting bee of 2021 is called Square Dance, and that is going to be the theme. So there's three quilts, I believe. They are square in size, perfect for lap size, um, watching TV and hanging out, or maybe even a wall hanging. So check the calendar for those for those so days, as well as use your IQ news for um, to keep you up to date on that. So because we are starting off the new year, we are having an extra <coughs> special meet and greet. So that is January 7th at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm in Utah, so that's, that's at seven o'clock my time. So join me as we introduce our new members, uh, take a tour of the site, ask, answer any of your questions that you have, and we're just gonna have some fun. So just going over our activities, getting to know each other a little bit better, and allowing you to get the help that you need if you are having a struggle with the site or with the projects we're working on. Okay, so this month we are kicking off in January our applique technique focus. Each month we'll be working on different methods of the pillow, oh, different methods of applique on a fun project, which I believe is a pillow. So these technique focuses are a great way to dip your little toe into something new if you've never tried it. Or it's a refresher on what you have already tried. <clears throat> of course, we suggest and um, encourage you to drop your best tips and tricks in the forum as well to help, um, to help us understand what you have uh, worked on, projects you have finished, things that you have found that work better, maybe some new notions that we need to try out using these different techniques. Whatever you've got, we want to hear it. Uh, so our members are highly talented, no matter if you're a beginner or advanced, and we really encourage you guys sharing what you know with us. So as far as our IAQ announcements, we have just a few. The member map is in the forum area still. So update your info, get, get yourself on that map. So we are all around the world. We've got a lot of members in here and we are all around the world. Not everybody is on the map automatically, so you might need to add yourself to them. You can find information, I believe, in the announcements area on how to update that, but it's fun to find a friend or two right around the corner that we never knew. So, um, you know, even though we're widespread, we do have quite a few that are located in similar areas. So please, please update your map info. There is a way that you can do that without adding your your exact address. So <clears throat> just to let you know if you don't want that information or if that information pops up, you can edit that, okay? So there's also new support tickets. This allows you to get in touch with me or anybody else on the team without getting lost in the monster pile of emails. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Please use the support ticket for your membership issues, questions on access, password resets if you're having problems, or um, if you need to know your renewal date or anything else like that. So the IQ news, that is our new announcement as well. As seen earlier, you can add this. Um, it's been added so you can print it and use it monthly. So in addition, our last announcement is we are looking for project leads. So I'm so excited about this. We used to do this and then I kind of have lost it and, and didn't do this, but I am picking it back up and really excited about it. So there is a form. You will find the link below. You can sign up to be a project lead. 
So all of our projects are listed that will be part that will be happening during the year. And you can pick and choose from those if you're interested in sewing a little bit earlier than the other members. So we have patterns. You will not have access to the uh, videos, just the PDF patterns, just to give you a heads up if there are our videos included. <clears throat> And you can see the patterns is listed as well as the due date. So you can pick and through and decide which ones work with your bus schedule. We will be sending out those PDFs and reaching out to those who have signed up um, and are interested. It's something extra. It is not required. But if you would be like to be one of our project leads, I really do appreciate it. It helps everybody in the group to have kind of a few people who have already sewn it um ahead of time and they can help in the form as well so it kind of gets you a little bit you're you're kind of special in there you're like a project lead so um it's a lot of fun you can pick and choose through the patterns if you choose nothing just don't fill out the form it's not a big deal if you choose uh, more than one that's all right as well just make sure that you're aware of the due dates and um that you're able to help us out that way. That really is the most important thing is that we have the project leads finished on time so we can make sure that, um, you know, our patterns are right and everything goes smoothly, as smoothly as possible. So now we have this month's awards. We have three prizes this month to give away. I'm gonna show you the prizes really quick and then these will be randomly given to our three members of, um, that are drawn. So first we have stitches from the Yuletide. They're all kind of Christmas holiday related, I'm super. Like, I wanna say super excited, but then I'm like, I always say super excited. I need to find better words. Um, celebrate the season stitch by stitch. So this is by Kathy Schmitz. This is a mix of hand stitching as well as, so embroidery, as well as a little bit of wool, if I can find a wool piece really quick. So, so, so cute. Oh my gosh, lots of projects. The templates are full size. You don't have to worry about increasing them or anything. You just need to trace them. There's needle books, projects, um, notion holder, super cute little bag. They had some ornaments in here, snowmans. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Ornaments. And see there is, um, I was wondering if that one, check out this stocking. It's not got a great like um, stem stitch or something. I don't know what stitch that is, but it's, it's a good one. Um, <clears throat> This one has a little bit of wool. So it's just got a little bit of mix with hand embroidery as well as wool. So way cute, okay? There's that first book. Our second one is Countdown to Christmas. So this is uh, Susan Ake, I believe. Quilts for Christmas, you can display around the, around the year though. So um, very like red and white traditionals. We've got greens. We do have a Christmas tree in here. Way cute. Great. If you're not going to do with the Christmas theme, it would be wonderful as a scrap busters. Nose gaze. Yeah. Way. <laughs> okay, so that's countdown to Christmas. All right. And our last one is patches of scraps. So this one would be a lot of fun. This is um, laundry basket quilt. So edited a sitar, I believe. Yeah. And her quilts are amazing. So much fun to make. So there is quite a few to choose from. And um, seriously, if you've got a scrap pile, this is for you. And who doesn't have a scrap pile? And just to give you a hint, if you look in the classes under the extras, the Z scrap zero is coming uh, in the middle of the year. I'm gonna say June, but I can't remember exactly. So, um, so those are our three prizes. We have our three winners for them. We've got overall is Joni Beth. We have images shares Doreen Boras, and we've got a random winner through all the members is Amber Jorgensen. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being supportive IAQ members, participating in the forum, giving feedback to others, sharing what you're working on your projects and your galleries. It has been a lot of fun. 
this year has been kind of a crazy one. I am so excited that you're sticking around. I'm really excited for next year or this year, 2021 coming and the projects that we get to start starting this month. So make sure that you print off the IEQ news, make sure you get those dates of our meetups on your phone or calendar or whatever. Put your reminders in, make sure you meet us in our special days for the Quilting Bee, the Orphan Project Challenge, as well as our member meetup and our meet and greet that we have special this month. So there's a lot of things happening this month. It is going to kick off the year mega busy, but um, we've got a lot of prep and stuff to do. So it's going to be a lot of fun. That is it for this month. I hope you continue to have happy days and find some time to sew just a little bit today, this week, this month. So until I see you at one of our meet and greets, have a wonderful, wonderful day.